Hey new players, uh, this is a video tutorial of how to play Legends of Kesmai on the uh, Lands of Kes server. Um, here we are, we are a wizard. Uh, to access your spells, you can go to here, uh, click on this menu, your spellbook, and you can drag your spells and place them into the uh, spellbook. I'm just going to drag that one in for now. and. Uh, you can take it from there and you can move it down to the bottom. You can have up to six spells on the bottom. And to uh, cast your spells, you just double click it to warm the spell. And then you double click that and you aim it. And if you see a plus, you can cast it on a creature or a player. If you uh, want to cast it on a player, you have to hold the shift key. So by clicking around on the map, you can move up and down. And right now we're going to head to uh, the dungeon and. Uh, try and kill some stuff. Um, but uh, before we do that, we are going to uh, double click our character and you can see uh, all your stuff. You might as well try to start with at least 15-15 on these so you can get plus one adds. They're very important. Con helps with uh, your getting hit points when you level and uh, for wizards you want intelligence at the max. Thumbs and thieves you want wisdom at the max of 18. If you're heavily encumbered, you will lose stamina. This is your health bar, this is your stamina bar, and this is your mana bar. If you click this, you'll see your sta uh, your skills uh, to know which is the most important skills for your class. Look on the forums or on legendsofkesmai.com. This is your portrait. This is where your equipment is. You can drag it from right-clicking on the ground or if you're handed it by a character. You take the item, you drag it from here, and you place it on your character. Or you can place it in your sack, which is the middle, this third one. Or on your belt, which carries weapons, armor, and robes, and some other minor items. But there's limited storage on the belt. Gems and balms, which heal the player when you drink them. Or you can store them here. Um, the best for, uh, weapon for... Um, uh, magic users of the staff, so we'll put the staff right here, and uh, we'll end up going to the dungeon right now, which is all the way north and a little west. And one thing is, if you're fighting monsters and you think you're going to die, you can dark hex. We call it darking, and you just go to a dark hex, and boom. Now all the monsters here will maybe move to the right or left and search for you, and you'll be able to heal yourself a little bit. So... We'll go into the dungeon. You can open the door by just going right through it or double clicking it to open it up or close it to, you know, mess with a friend. And um, right here is uh, the stairs. You can double click the stairs and you'll go down or you can type down in the command line, which is the sword symbol right down here. Um, and uh, you'll go down. And there's some stuff. As you can see, this little treasure chest thing, I mean treasure items, you right click it and you'll see an item on the ground. You can take that to whatever uh, menu you need it to be in. So now we're fighting the characters. We can see in the creature list what is attacking us and how their health is. Their health is uh, can go to green, brown, purple, yellow, and then red. And red means they're about to die. See, brown's not too bad. And uh, but they're gonna kick my butt, so I'm gonna dark them. Now they can't see me, so they probably appear down here looking for me. Gotta warm a spell. Here comes a kobold, so I'll cast this on them. You can either click on them from this venue, menu or from the creature menu, or by typing it up by like fight monster or cast blank blank at the monster. And I just got disconnected uh, for a second. So uh, you can just fight them like that. And uh, if you die, you'll all your items will get looted. And you will have to uh, ask for assistance or you'll try to get your stuff again. Um, or someone has to try and save you and pick you up. But you will still have to go search for your items. But if you die and you're a higher level character, you will uh, lose skill. And the only way to get your skill back is by killing something or by, a, um, by going to Underworld. And Underworld takes about 20 to 40 minutes depending on your skill. And uh, to buy things or sell things, you just put them on a counter and you type uh, the name of the person, comma, buy all, and then they'll buy all the items. But watch out what you sell because you don't want to lose something important. Uh, that's the basic stuff. 
This menu is uh, your equipment, your rings, you got your shielder rings, your strength rings, fire knives and all that, they're very important. A recall ring is very important so that if you're in danger you can pull it off and you'll go back to town and you'll be safe. This is where you're, you can see your money, you can always store it in the bank, and uh, your belt, your creature list, shows your friends and your foes. Dialogue, if you type something you'll see it all stored here. Your spells, as I showed you before, this is where you exit, you can just click that, and this is shows like all the combat that's been going on in dialogue. So, this is a quick video, hopefully it helps you um, learn how to play, uh, and I hope you enjoy. Don't forget about right-clicking on the ground to see uh, what items drop from monsters. And that's it, so hopefully that helped you out, and I'll see you in-game. Good luck!